this should be going along with your homework from yesterday or you may be working on it today okay this is adding and subtracting mixed numbers I just want to show you this little part right here for now because we have um, it kind of gives us some steps of what to do. So this question tells us that Denise mixes one and four fifth ounces of blue paint with two and one tenth ounces of yellow paint. How many ounces of paint does she have? Okay, so just one of these ways just to kind of help us about this to estimate. When I look at this number right here, one and four fifths, I have four out of five. So that means it's almost whole. So I'm going to say that that's two. Okay. Now this one, two and one tenth. If I have 1 out of 10, I, I, I don't have a lot, so I'm going to say that that's 2. So I'm going to say that my estimate is 4. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to see. We have to find a common denominator. Okay. We've done it using least common multiple. We've found all those things. But now we're going to use it in our mixed numbers. Okay. I'm going to carry this over. to my page here and we'll go over it here. So I have one and four fifths plus two and one tenth. Let's clear this baby out. Go here, all right. So I have one and four fifths and I have two and one tenth. Okay, I need a common denominator. So I need to figure this out. So I have one and I have two. I'm looking for a common denominator. Well, just using my math skills, I'm going to say I know that 5 and 10 are common multiples. I'm going to put a 10 here, I'm going to put a 10 here. 10 times 1 equals 10. I have to do the same to the top. That one stays the same. How did I get there? I multiplied by 2. I multiplied by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now I can do my addition problem. I add the fractions, 8 plus 1 is 9, my denominator stays the same, 1 plus 2 is 3. I get 3 and 9 tenths, okay? Now, let's say you didn't remember that 5 and 10 were common multiples, okay? Here's the fun part. It doesn't have to be the least common multiple in this one. It's easier because then you only have one step. But let's say you turn this into... Well, I know that 5 and 10 is 50. Well, I had to multiply 5 by 10, so I had to multiply the top by 10. So I get 40 fiftieths, and here I had to multiply by 5, and I multiply by 5, so I get 5. So now if I do my addition, 40 plus 5 equals 45 fiftieths. Okay, and then I add my, add my whole numbers up here. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 and 45 fiftieths. Am I done? No way, Jose. I need to make this into its simplest form. Well, I know I can divide them both by 5. Because 1 starts with 5, 1 starts with a 0. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 50 divided by 5 is 10. My 3 stays the same. 3 and 9 tenths. Same thing. Same answer, because I, read, I had to make it simplify it. But if, if the, it's an easier, it shows that you can get there either way. Okay, so that was adding. Let's look at a subtracting one over here. Okay, so we have 4 and 5 sixths. 4 and 5 sixths. And 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, and we are subtracting. So if we estimate this, we can do it the same way. If I estimate 4 and 5, 6, I would say that's 5. And if I estimate 2 and 3, 4, so I would say that's 3. So 5 minus 2, I'm thinking my answer is going to be around 3. Okay, it's going to be around 3. So let's check. Okay, oh, I just didn't leave enough room there. So I know 6 and 4. I think 24 is the fraction that I want to use. So I had to multiply by 6. So I had to multiply by 6, I get 18. Over here, I get multiplied by 4. So here I had to multiply by 4, and I get 20. 
Wait a minute. Let me see that number again. Yeah, that's not right. All right. So I am going to do some subtracting here. Okay. So 20. Oh, I had to put my four here, my two here. 20 take away 18. 20 take away 18. Well, that's me. Sounds like two. My de denominator stays the same. 4 minus 2 equals 2, so I get 2 and 2 24ths. I'm done, right? Wrong. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and my final answer is 2 and 1 12th. So 2 and 1 12th. Is 2 and 1 12th almost just 2? Yep, for sure. Okay. So there's an addition and a subtraction. Let's do a couple more of these. And hopefully you haven't done your assignment quite yet so that you can check this out. All right. This one gets to be a tricky one, but it's not too bad. We're going to take 7 and 2 fifths. And we're going to take 4 and 3 fourths. Okay. And we are adding them up. So let's take a look over here. So we need to find a common denominator. Well... I think with a 5 and a 4, I'm going to use 20. So, I'm going to have 4 and 7 here. How did I get 20? I had to multiply by 5. So, 3 times 5 is 15. 5 to get 20, I had to multiply by 4, so I get 8. So, when I do this problem, I'm going to look and see. 8 and 15 is 23. 20th and 7 plus 4 is 11. Am I done? Uh-uh. Why am I not done? I'm not done because this is not okay. I can't have a improper fraction with a mixed number. Okay? So, I'm going to do this a little bit easier, a little bit different than we did before. I'm going to keep my 11 right here. Okay, but I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make 23 divided by 20. Okay, so 20 is my denominator. 20 goes into 23 one time. 20 with 3 left over. So remember, draw our little arrows. This is our whole number. This is our numerator. This is our denominator. So now I have 11 plus 1 and 3 twentieths. So if I add that, oops, if I add 11 plus 1 and 3 twentieths up, I'm going to get an answer of 12 and 3 twentieths. Okay? So it just gets, a, this part right here can be kind of, a, it can be kind of confusing, but it shouldn't be. It should be it should be pretty easy. Okay, let's try one more, so you can get a little get after it. So I have two and three fourths, and I have three and three tenths. Okay. Two and three fourths, three and four tenths. So I'm going to just do it the easy way. I'm going to start with 40. Even though I know I could do a different number, I'm going to start with 40. So I'm going to put my 2 here, my 3 here, my plus here. How did I get 40? I multiplied by 10. How did I get to 40 here? I multiplied by 10. Okay, 10 times 4, 3 times 4. So I'm going to have 40... 2 fortieths and 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 and 42 fortieths. Can't have that happen. So 42 divided by 40. I'm going to get once. So we're going to go oop, ba doop, So I have 5 plus 1 and 2 fortieths. Well, we can make it 6 and 2 fortieths, but that's still not right because we still need to divide this by 2. 
and this by 2. I'm still going to divide those both by 2. So my final is going to be 6 and 1 20th. Okay? That should get you rocking and rolling, buddy. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to put a couple of practices on your on an email. Just take a picture of those and send them back to me, okay? So that we can keep this going and keep our keep that going. And we can keep it keep everything keep getting you better grades, buddy.